Hello, YouTubers. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions, and it's benchmark time and performance test uh, with uh, the HP NV8 Note uh, computer here, guys. All right, guys. So we got the uh, Atom processor here, the 8300. Uh, we got two gigs of RAM. Uh, we got 32 gigs of internal storage. Uh, along with uh, the Intel HD graphics. Uh, so today, guys, we're going to do some benchmark tests. Uh, we're going to play N22. Uh, we're going to do GFX benchmark and PC benchmark tests. So follow me on this journey. Get your popcorn ready. Let's go. All right, guys, so this 8-inch tablet here is uh, kind of designed uh, for business owners or college professionals uh, that need to get a little work done that's uh, bigger than a, uh, a cell phone and uh, smaller than a, a, ta a, a computer. Uh, say if you had a, uh, a computer that's too big and bulky and you need something kind of in the middle of the range, but you need full-fledged Windows. Uh, this is a full-fledged Windows 10 PC here, not a tablet. I got it in tablet mode here. Uh, so uh, it, along with the uh, pen here, uh, this device does very well as far as day-to-day -day performance. But let's go ahead and explore some of the benchmark tests uh, with N22 Benchmark. It did, it did a pretty good job uh, with N22 Benchmark. Listen, you have to understand that, that this uh, device is not made for power. So so on Antutu Benchmark, uh, we scored 70,538, which is a very, very, very low score here uh, compared to something like the Surface Pro 3, uh, which run a pretty high score here uh, if we, when we put that in perspective. Uh, yeah, so the Surface Pro 3 run a very, very high score, if you can see that. Uh, and, you know, overall, this device is not the made uh, to be a high performer. It's not made to be a gaming PC. It's just made to get some work done. All right, so that's in 2-2 Benchmark. Uh, let's talk about GFX Benchmark. Unfortunately, GFX Benchmark didn't want to run uh, on uh, this device. Uh, it is not optimized for Windows 10, but I could not get GFX Benchmark to run. So that benchmark could not be done here. All right, so let's go ahead on and go to PC Mark. And uh, PC Mark, again, looking at some of the test scores, uh, you want to, I'm looking at uh, this scores uh, of a 6.35, which is very low. Uh, and uh, which is write speeds and read speeds is 3442 uh, on the, the disk speeds, which is very low. Uh, the CPU tests, uh, you have a 76.33, which is very low, and multi threaded tests is uh, 247, again, very low. Uh, and the RAM test is 564, and the last test that I ran was GPU test, which is uh, 514. All right, so in comparison, uh, when you compare it, uh, that test PC Mark to the Surface Pro 3 here, again, uh, when you look at the, the test, this test for the Surface Pro 3, but that's benchmark. But everyday use here, uh, I'm finding the device to be pretty fast and fluid. It's optimized for what it can do. Uh, I don't have no issues uh, with speed here, as you can tell. I mean, everything runs fast and fluid. Opening up apps is very fast. I mean, it is a jewel to run here. Even though the benchmark test doesn't say that, this device runs very well. Now, I know since it doesn't have all the power here, it's one of those things that you have to understand that and I understand that this device is a $260 full-fledged Windows PC. This device is designed to get work done. So again, when you open it up apps and open it up web browsers and stuff like that, as you can tell, everything runs pretty fast. No problems there. Even when you run in 
uh, stuff like YouTube. Okay, so when you running like things like YouTube.com, everything comes up pretty fast. Uh, so, uh, you know, for the most part, I'm enjoying uh, the, the, the experience with this device, 1080p screen, uh, no issues there. Kind of give you a, a YouTube video to kind of let you check out that this device runs very well. And again, you know, when you're doing multitasking, as you can tell, I got all apps open here and uh, YouTube is running in the background. This is what I like about full-fledged PCs. You can actually get work done here. So uh, here, I'm fully-fledged multitasking, uh, and if you could check out the screen quality of uh, this device, uh, and uh, the speakers sound okay, it could be a little louder. Um, and I'm at 100%, uh, so uh, the speaker, uh, it's not that great. Uh, but overall performance, you know, it it does a pretty good job here uh, as far as, you know, uh, performance and screen quality. I'm, I can really binge movies here. The battery life has been pretty solid. Uh, don't have any issues with that. Uh, you know, yeah, the design is uh, something uh, people have to get used to. Uh, and I've ordered the D-Brand skin here. Uh, to um, give it that D-brand uh, skin look uh, in the next couple of days I'll probably get that D-brand skin and I'm going to show a video on the installation of that yes the top part here is a fingerprint magnet and you know I, overall it does a pretty good job I mean it, uh, as far as outside visibility uh, it's okay it has a little glare on the screen uh, but overall I think for the price that you pay for this eight inch computer and for the performance that I've been getting out of this device, uh, it's uh, been pretty solid. Stay tuned to, for Eric with Easy Computer Solutions and New Orleans Tech. And uh, I got the good, the bad, the ugly coming with this device. If you have any questions about the HP Envy Note 8, leave them down in the, in the comments below. I've been getting regular updates with this device. If, um, I tell you what, uh, Microsoft right now is on the update craze uh, with all my Lumia devices, my Windows 10 devices, uh, and uh, my PCs, along with my Surface Pro 3 and everything. Else, I've been getting a plethora of updates. I mean, update after update that's been enhancing the performance of these devices and they make it run pretty well. So but overall... As you can see, that is uh, running at 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second, YouTube on uh, the HP Envy Note 8. This is Eric. See y'all guys on the next video. Peace.